Earth Desk. So, John, uh, we're seeing more protests across the country. What's the latest for today? Yeah, as we speak, take a look. This is a live look from New York City, where we're seeing a march of what looks like hundreds of people, pro-Palestinian marchers here, marching through the city. And in the midst of this, we also just learned there's a new encampment that students are setting up at Fordham University's Lincoln Center campus. Students are being threatened with suspension and arrests. But it's not just happening here, folks. Let's go switch gears and go take a look at Dallas. Uh, this is a shot just beyond the camera's view. Hopefully they pan up to that where we're seeing officers on scene there working to break up an encampment. This is over at UT Dallas. You can see this line of officers right here in this massive crowd of people waving Palestinian flags. This is likely debris and trash taken out of that encampment as officers are trying to break that up. We've also learned they are making arrests there and all this is happening in the wake of a very busy night we had last night. Late last night, UCLA, they spiraled into chaos when counter protesters tried to break down a pro Palestinian encampment. It was around 11 p.m. local time. Fights broke out and officers did not stop the violence until about 1.30 a.m. Security officials were actually seen standing by as the violence erupted. No arrests were announced. Governor Gavin Newsom condemned the violence but also criticized law enforcement. Meanwhile, back in New York, as Scott had mentioned, late last night, nearly 300 people were arrested at Columbia University and City College of New York. City College classes are being held remotely as of now, and Columbia has asked for a continued police presence.